Hi, I'm Tobias, I'm General Manager of the New Road Hotel and Mr. White's English Chop House here in Whitechapel. New Road Hotel used to be a former textile factory, as most of the places here in Whitechapel. The textile business trade obviously went down back in the 90s. The building closed, was unused for almost a decade when it was um, bought by the three brothers and they decided to turn it into a luxury design hotel and decided to get the Marco Pierre White brand on board to have that fine dining experience in Whitechapel. It's always been very challenging, especially as a Muslim, to find premium dining options in London. You do have restaurants that do offer halal dishes, but not all the dishes is halal. What we've decided to make here at Mr. White's English Chop House, to have all our meat halal, we don't use any alcohol in any of the sauces, and we don't do pork in the kitchen. So what we're offering here is like a fully halal experience in a fine dining version, which is quite a unique um, restaurant. Good afternoon. Uh, my name's Jason Everett. I'm the executive group chef for Black and White Hospitality Marco Pierre White Restaurants. Marco's philosophy basically is keeping things simple. He comes with, he, he's got lots of different sayings. He'll say lots of little things done well. Let mother nature showcase the work for you. Try not to overcomplicate things. So we, for example, use Campbell's Butchers, which is a butchers based in Scotland, which is a reputable butchers. There's not many of them in the country at the minute with the Queen's stamp. And uh, we use good Scottish beef. So like for example, we're here today in Chop House uh, Whitechapel and it's a halal restaurant. So we're using all halal meat, like ribeye steaks, which are halal, chicken, halal, lamb rumps, which is halal. So with Chop House here, the ethos side of things, what Marco's looking at is earthy type dishes, meat on the bone. So like we're gonna have a porterhouse steak on the bone. It's coming in on the menu very shortly. There's things like, uh, we used to have a sirloin on the bone, uh, fish cooked on the char grill, giving it depth of flavour, using just simple dishes without too much going on to complicate the flavours. Hi, I'm Vincenzo. I'm the executive chef of Marco P. White English Chop House White Chapel. There is a say that say, uh, do what you like and you will never work a day in your life, you know, so that's what it brings me to cooking. It's, it's what I wanted always to do. Especially, you know, working for Marco, uh, which is a big name, he, you know, he brought my passion even up and, you know, it's, I'm, I'm really happy to be here and, you know, he can make me a better chef, to be honest. Uh, I'm, I'm not that kind of arrogant chef, you know, that says I'm the best. There is always something to learn in life. So coming here is a big chance for me. And yes, I'm putting all myself into that. Ramadan gets very, very busy for us. We're usually booked, fully booked every single night for iftar, people booking, everybody's looking to go for a nice dinner. We do offer prayer facilities as well in the building, which is very important for us as well. The moment guests come in, they get um, a nice plate with some dates get a fresh complimentary mocktail and then the sharing style starts straight on the table but Ramadan gets booked up very very quickly in advance. Iftar is all about coming together in the evening and sharing. Mr. White's English Chop House is in the heart of Whitechapel. We are next to the East London Mosque. We are part of the community here. So our guests come in the evening to um, break the fast and um, inviting friends, inviting family. It's about sharing. So Marco and his team have created a family-style sharing special iftar menu, which will be served every night at Mr. White's English Chop House with a sharing style starters. And we're focusing on having dishes prepared really quickly so people don't have to wait. So when guests arrive here, especially for iftar, we're providing our selection of mocktails which is nice and fresh, with fresh, fresh juices. Um, there's mocktails with lovely strawberry puree, a bit more sour ones, a bit more sweet ones. But it's very important for us that we have this nice presentation 
on the table straight away when you come in. So our team in the bar is fully trained on all the mocktails, on the preparation. What they usually do um, early afternoon, they're starting to prepare all the ingredients, especially the mint, the garnishes, the berries that go into the mocktails to make sure they're fully stocked. And then they're building up the mocktails. As the orders come in, they're prepared fresh to order, so they look really nice in the glass. Some of the mocktails have a different color combination, which settles down while it gets served on the table. And that's very important for us, this nice presentation. The different type of steaks that we have at Chop House, uh, at the moment on the menu we've got things like uh, ribeye steak, which is a, it's a little bit more of a, a fatty piece of meat from the rib of the cow. Whereas if you wanted a nice rare steak, you'd go down the route of a fillet steak or you'd go for Chateau Grillon which is a lovely sharing steak, really family orientated, which is good with the, the, the ethos that we're doing at the moment with Ramadan and with the iftar menu, which is all about families and sharing when they come to dine. We can have a nice uh, Chateaubriand for a family of two. They can share between them, which is rather nice. And then we have things like uh, sea trout, which is a nice earthy fish and serve simple just with some forest air vegetables like spinach and some wild mushrooms and some extra virgin olive oil. Nice and simple, which is delicious, fresh. Uh, also there's dishes here for the vegetarian, the vegan. There's options like gnocchi with tomato, etc. But like, uh, yeah, we, we tend to, Marco always likes to use good quality products. And you can find things here that you don't normally find somewhere else because you have to make everyone happy. You have to give the chance to the people to come to your restaurant and enjoy what is on the menu. They don't have to choose from one or two dishes. You know, so we, we, we try always to revisit the dish in, to make everyone happy and to, you know, help those people to find what they really like, you know, like you know, I, I think it's good if you go to a restaurant and you see Wellington there, you see Alal, and you know that it's a re revisitation, so that means I made my best to make you happy, you know, and what's make me happy is uh, a customer that leaves the restaurant with a smile. Marco says it all the time, when he does interviews all the time, he always says lots of little things done well. So like, if you're having some, coming in for a, a steak dinner, you want it served on a hot plate because then it will keep your dinner hot for the whole way through your meal. If you're serving it on a cold plate, it's got more chance of going cold. If you're, in, if you're uh, having dinner with friends and you're chatting and you're stopping, you want your food to stay warm all the way through dinner. Don't overcomplicate things. Yes, we use uh, the best uh, quality meat you know, in London. And uh, yeah, as a chef, obviously you need to treat the product, uh, you know, as it is part of your family, we say. You know, always uh, treat, your, treat the product, uh, you know, with respect and you can get always the best out of it. Uh, especially when you use like finest quality product, you need to make sure that, you know, you treat them well. Because if you treat them bad, you can have the best product, but you will never get nothing out of it. So you do need always to treat them with respect and passion. And we've even got a master's, uh, a master chef, Hell's Kitchen, cheesecake on the menu at Chop House, which was on the show in Australia, which is a, like a deconstructed type style cheesecake made in a glass, and it's very delicious. It's very soft. It's a little bit different to the baked cheesecake, which we also have had on the menu in the past, uh, and the menu. It comes from probably all of Marco's. His mother was Italian. He was classically French trained as a young boy through the kitchens. And he's also an Englishman and his father was an English chef. So like, um, it's probably an amalgamation. I know we call it English chop house, but there's, it's just, it's like a mixture, like you say, a fusion of all Marco's favorite things. So I go around 
with a, with a group of uh, black and white ops guys and in the food team we've got a, quite a, a, a limited team with a lot of restaurants to cover so we're in and out of restaurants all the time helping supporting making sure everybody can buy the right product so like we use a procurement company so all of the restaurants can order the same things it's, it's about consistency consistency is key My name is Lily Khan. Uh, I'm a full-time teacher, but I'm also a halal food blogger, and I've been blogging for seven years now. Generally, in Wachapol, the area itself, there's so much halal food available. Um, but you know, if you're thinking about high-end sort of restaurants, I feel like sometimes you do need to travel a bit more in central London. So when we realise, in terms of the location, it's very convenient to get to. But also, the food that they were catering, obviously, it's a famous chef. Um, the food, it's the high-quality meat, the steak, um, everything on the menu is halal. I think that was really, really appealing to me. So it's definitely a sort of dinner date, special occasion type of restaurant. But at the same time, um, it's sort of accessible for anyone who wants to have a really good meal. I'm Rahima. I'm known as Bengali Halal Foodie on Instagram. Instagram and I do food blogging and today we're at Mr White's Top House. This is definitely one of the places to come and eat because uh, the menu is extensive. Um, it's also child friendly. I'm actually here with my uh, five-year-old and he likes the food too. So anywhere where all of us can get a bite to eat, my husband, my child and me, is always a winner in my books. We do get a lot of good reviews about especially the food and the service which is very important for us. Whitechapel has a lot of places to eat and restaurants, but from a fine dining experience, we're quite unique in that area. And so what we see a lot from the reviews is people are really amazed how good the steaks are, the garnishes, it's cooked to a perfection. And that makes such a big difference. People are happy to, to come here and, and dine with us.